everyone and welcome to Weed and Secret. I've got some more wax melts for you today. Um, I was just doing my orders and got to the stage where I'm out of stock of one of the, the wax melts. So the wax melt I'm doing today is yummy, well yeah for yummy, I just call it yummy yummy. And this is supposed to be like Lush's yummy 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 but I'm not sure that it is because it's like Lush describe it as like a strawberry milkshake and I'm not getting any of that in this um, but we've got some Silver Luna Biodegradable Glitter from Eco Stardust I've got my Eco Soy Melt Wax in here and we're going to be using Tropical Temptations. Now, I originally made these in blue, but Yummy 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 from Lush was always like a pinky, peachy colour. And I want to kind of do it a peachy, pinky colour, but in the past I've always done it blue, so I'm thinking I should just do them blue again, shouldn't I? Because uh, there is a picture on the website and if you don't do them the same as what they look like on the website um, people might be disappointed because they might have wanted blue to go with their, their, the room that they're melting these in so as you can see we've just added some of that Tropical Temptations mica to the wax you see how beautiful that is it's such a gorgeous blue and it's beautifully pearlescent as well and I'll also pop the fragrance in there and then we'll just give it a good stir in and allow that to warm through the wax and while that's warming through the wax, we'll just pop it to one side. So it's so easy to make wax melts. I can't tell you how many messages I get from people that are just learning to make wax melts. And um, it's always the same question, more or less, um, that they've got frosting on the wax melts. And that is because they're using the Golden Wax 494. Now I'm actually using Eco Soy Wax Melt now, that brand. And as far as frosting goes, it's absolutely fantastic. You don't get any frosting whatsoever. But I think from what I've learned in the past year, it seems like all the waxes work quite well. Um, just you've got to do different things with them to um, to make them work well for you and it's just a case of learning uh, how to do all of that the other thing I've learned is using biodegradable glitter is yes it's unbelievably more expensive but it's much better with silicon moulds the polyth polythene glitter is a nightmare to get off it just sticks on there and you've literally got to pick each piece of glitter off by hand with a, a toothpick or I'll just use my scalpel but the biodegradable glitter is just so much easier to get off it literally just rinses off with the with the tap uh, so I'm going to be using biodegradable glitter all the time you know a little does go a heck of a long way we'll just check on the temperature here it feels like it's fairly cool We're down to 58, so 
we need to pour why do I use micas rather than the wax dye wax dye chips well you get this beautiful pearlescent color into the mix so when the wax is melted it looks absolutely stunning But you could still use dye chips and mica if you wanted, or dye chips with glitter. So this is the last of the yummy yummy now. I won't be buying any more of it. So once this batch is gone, um, it'll be gone. Hopefully you can see that beautiful, beautiful pearl glow that's going on in there. And if you can't, we'll just zoom in so that you can see how gorgeous it is. That Tropical Temptations is a beautiful blue. I love blue and I love pink and I love gold and I love blue and gold together and I love pink and gold together. I think they're my favourite colours. You see how gorgeous they are? I'm probably not going to do... Well, I'm bound to have something for a sample here just one sample because uh, you can guarantee if I give the samples away which I always do I put them in with people's orders but when you do that it does encourage people to buy and I don't want to encourage people to buy yummy yummy if I haven't got any so we've just got one sample going on here with this fragrance today All right, as usual, we're just going to allow those to cool and then we'll unmold them and get them wrapped up. All right. Okay, it's time to unmold now. So I've actually had these in the fridge all night because I forgot about them. So that's just that little sample piece there. And they definitely go mould easy, you know, when they've been in the freezer or the fridge. They definitely unmold perfect. I mean, there's no wax left in that container at all. Now I'm getting quite a few messages from people that are using the Eco Soy Melt um, saying that the fragrance isn't very strong. I honestly believe it's not the wax, I just think it's the type of fragrance you're buying. Um, obviously a marshmallow fragrance is going to be rather delicate. And something like Chanel number no. five is going to be incredibly strong. 
Um, so every fragrance you buy is going to be different. But I also believe you get what you pay for. Some fragrance suppliers, their fragrances are weaker than others. So, and it also doesn't necessarily mean that if they're expensive, they're really good quality because I'm not going to name any names. There is one supplier that I used to buy from a long time ago. Um, their fragrances are just bog standard, what I call bog standard fragrances, one dimensional. So they might just be melon or strawberry, <coughs> uh, almond, that kind of thing. Um, I'm not saying their fra fragrances are weak because they're not. Um, but yeah, it's just the same with everything, isn't it? You get what you pay for. Uh, for instance, one fragrance in Snow Fairy I bought from someone um, suggested only a 5% usage level with the fragrance. Uh, but another company, theirs is 10% usage level. And that's, um, so obviously the 5% suggested usage level was a stronger fragrance than the suggested 10%. And I know for a fact it is different because um, if I used the, the stronger one in a 10% strength, uh, the wax melt was soft um, and I just think that it's because it's a really strong fragrance and because the suggested usage level is only 5% and I used 10 then it was never going to mix with all the wax molecules so but you know it doesn't matter if something's weaker because not everybody wants a strong, strong fragrance. A lot of people like delicate fragrances. A lot of people like medium strength. A lot of people hate really strong fragrances. So don't worry about it too much. And there we go. I'm just going to leave those to cure for a few days. And as usual, thanks so much for watching. This was Karen here at Eden Secret. I know you love these wax melt videos. Um, so I'm going to try and get more out. Um, but I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye bye for now.